Engineering Systems, NCV Level 2. Unit 5. Basic Calculations on Engineering Systems. Introduction. When power, energy or torque are supplied to a system, the system will process this input and then produce an output. This can be seen in the diagram below. Power or energy or torque get input into the system and you have the output. On any engineering system, there will be a loss of power or energy between the input and the output. This loss is because energy has been used to overcome friction. Here is a diagram of energy losses in motors. Efficiency equals output over input. Output equals input less losses. There are five types of losses in motors. Core losses in stator and rotor, stator FR, rotor FR, friction and windage, stray load. This applies to hydraulic, mechanical, electrical and other systems. On some applications this loss can be quite large. Any engineer or designer needs to be able to accurately work out what the loss will be in a system. Here is a diagram with a designer and an engineer. What is the relationship between them? Well, for automotive, you need a designer and an engineer. Do you know why? We can do this by applying mathematical principles and carrying out calculations. This section will deal with simple calculations that can determine a variety of outputs for engineering systems. Please ensure you understand the introduction before continuing with the next section. The next section is definitions of a variety of outputs for engineering systems. Thank you.